Hey, what's going on, bro? Bots, Booty Bot here, and I got 10 awesome places to sit, dance, wave, or point with your friends on Destiny. I will show you where and how to get all these spots, so stay tuned and enjoy. Alright, guys, here's number one. What you want to do is you want to come up these stairs behind the bounty, and you want to jump up onto this banister, and then jump up onto the bounty this monitor. And then from here, you're going to do. You're pointing, do your little things, do a robot, oh yeah, you can also create guardians if they come in. Or just sit on your butt when you want to relax after all your alien killing for the day, or whatever you're doing. But yeah, that's number one. Alright guys, here's number two. What you want to do is you want to jump over the brain banister, and then you want to jump onto the blue thing, and then from here, you want to jump up onto these flags. Alright, it's not that hard, I mean, it's a little tricky, you just gotta get your jumping right, but once you do, it's pretty simple when you do it over and over again. But yeah, you can just chill from here and just relax and look out at the uh, beautiful city, or stalk your other guardians in the middle of town, whatever you feel like doing, it's another cool place to sit. Alright, number three. You guys gotta go up these stairs here, and you gotta come over to this banister, jump over it. And you see that awning right there? You gotta run, sprint, jump, to the awning. There's number three. It's a little secret spot, kind of just out of the way. Nobody, uh, nobody really can't see you. Just sit and relax if you're one of the loners. But anyways, that's number three. Alright guys, for number four, it's a little tricky, but you guys look up on this tree. So you want to jump there, jump halfway up, and then jump one more time here. And then jump into the middle of the tree. And once you get there, it's a little tricky here. You gotta jump onto this branch. You can't walk to it or like knock you off. But once you're there, you kind of just want to walk yourself out. And so you about get to the end here. And once you get to the end, you want to kind of just back yourself up a little bit. And then you want to sprint and jump to that post right there. And kind of jump afterwards. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you hit right, which you don't have to. But with these orange awnings, you can only go about halfway up. Or you get like a turn back signal. Or the same in the corners, you can only go about halfway up. But yeah, it's just another really cool spot. This is kind of a spot I haven't really seen anybody doing. So it's a little tricky, but once you master it, you kind of just fool everybody saying like, how the heck did they get up there? But yep, that's number four. All right, guys, here's number five. You want to go up to the second part of the balcony, go up the stairs, come over to here. And you want to jump over this banner and just into this corner. It's another cool spot for the loners out there, they're just going to want to be left alone when they go do something in real life. Just let the game just sit and wait till they come back. So you don't come back to people dancing in your face or sitting inside you or whatever. But yep, that's number five. Another cool spot. Alright guys, here's number six. What you want to do is go into the hallway to the north tower. Jump on that crate. Jump up on that one. Aim for those middle poles right there. And then sprint jump to get up on here. This is a cool one I found. I wasn't actually sure you could get up here, but yeah. Um, and there's no uh, turn back limiter on this. You can just pretty much go anywhere you want. Sit wherever you want. Pull wherever you want. Dance wherever you want. Just another cool little spot for you. Alright guys, here's number 7. You guys Welcome go to the speaker, back. jump up on this table, and jump up onto this fan thing. And then jump up here, you want to sprint jump there, and then you're up on top of this area. It's a pretty cool area, a lot of people would be like, how the heck did those guys get up there? But yeah, it's just an awesome location. Alright guys, here's number 8. Number eight's kind of a continuation of 7. You want to jump up onto that thing, and then when you're here, you want to sprint up to this area here. Uh, you got to make 
careful that you can only stand on the bars. You can't stand in there or you'll fall down. But you can stand on his bookshelf, kind of float there, but you can also jump up onto his little awning areas or flags or whatever. You can sit there, sit anywhere on the bars, on his bookshelf. But this is another awesome area to sit because a lot of people don't know about it and you get a lot of people fooled. Alright guys, this one is number 9. And this is the North Tower past the speaker. What you want to do, you want to come to the back corner and you see what you saw right there. You want to jump over the banister and aim for this little ledge right here. Once you're here, you want to stand close to the corner as possible. If you go any further this way, you'll end up dying or just get kicked off, which you don't want. But this is another awesome spot for loners if they just want to get away and just stare at the beauty of destiny. And alright guys, here's number 10. This is uh, by the Guardian Outfitter. And it's probably <laughs> the really most loner spot you can get if you're a loner. Oh, you, oh, you want to come here, jump Let on that crate, and then jump up top of her storage area, whatever you want to call it. Once you're here, you're pretty much by yourself. You got her flags or stuff that she's selling in front of you that's hiding you pretty much. But this is kind of a cool place, parkour style place to get to. It's another awesome place. Alright guys, well there you have it. That's 10 awesome places to sit, stand, point, dance, wave, whatever you feel like doing in Destiny. If you guys would, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you're new, please hit the subscribe button and become a robot for life. Remember guys, if we ain't gaming, we ain't living.